So the solar farm project has been something that's been in the making probably for the last seven years. What we were looking at is the sustainability of the organisation. So it seemed a perfect opportunity to bring together various elements in a country that has something like three and a half thousand hours of sunshine a year. And just to put that into context, in, in Ireland there's only 1,440, so we have almost three times the amount of sunshine. When we started doing the research was how quick the solar panel or the, or the solar power generation market was moving. Uh, and when I say how quick it was moving, I'm not just talking in terms of growth of, of solar power, but also that the rapid evolution of the technology. So you would do some research at the beginning of one year, and by the end of that year, the panels had, had moved forward and were producing more electricity than they were at the beginning. Uh, we engaged a, a third party consultancy who had expertise in, in solar power and, and general kind of civil uh, engineering construction projects. Uh, and from that point onwards, um, you know, the project really gained momentum and, and became more than just an idea, it's, it's now a reality. The, the biggest challenge is li has literally been making the decision on what time or what, you know, when to, to actually go ahead with it. And then finally, when it came to the implementation, because of the complexity of our uh, solar power project in that we are building it over the car parks in order to provide covered car parking, we have to take car parks out of, out of action. And when you have a full campus and a new academic year starting and, and the, there's a, a limit on car parking spaces already, it's become a challenge to manage that. But the guys have worked very well. They've kind of changed their working patterns to work through the night uh, in order to kind of move things forward and, 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 and be able to use the car parks at the same time. And when we have had to take car parks out of action, we've done it for a limited period of time. So there's 12,000 square metres of solar panels covering the car parks here, actually covering 681 car parking spaces. When completed, the solar farm will generate 2.72 megawatts of power, which will in turn generate 3.8 million kilowatt hours of energy on an annual basis. And that's around 60% of the overall energy needs of the university. Hopefully at some point in the future we can expand it further and, and get to a point where we can generate 100% of our, our electricity needs. And I think a really big thing from a sustainability perspective is that we are saving, in implementing this solar farm, we are saving 2,247 metric tonnes of carbon dioxide every year. The, the top tier, the ultimate um, uh, benefit is sustainability. You know, the, 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 we are making an impact on our environment today that will give us sustainability into the future. The challenges that we have faced again, given that this is a, a 10 years old campus, there are so many services that were running underground that were not uh, shown into the asphalt drawing. So, um, literally speaking, we had an emergency team on campus responding to any uh, damages that may uh, cause during the construction phases, whether it is a busted uh, water supply pipeline or a uh, damaged power cable. So this was one of the most uh, worrying challenges that we have faced as, as you know, managing this project is how to, one, get the project completed on time to budget, but also in a health and safe manner. The whole project is consisting of, initially was planned for uh, 4,854 uh, PV module panel. However, uh, because the final design for the new car park where we wanted uh, uh, part of the deliverables were uh, one to provide the power but also to provide the shades for the new car parks, we have expanded this and uh, now as we speak we have a total of 4,993 PV modules installed on campus. These modules are linked to a 25 uh, inverters in total and to produce approximately 60% of our power requirement. The solar system capacity is 2.72 megawatt DC. Converting it into AC, this provides us, it provides us with 2.33 megawatt hour peak. 
The PV module is supported by steel structure and concrete. The concrete in total, we have uh, approximately 900, 930 cubic meter of concrete, uh, equivalent to 2,300 ton. The steel structure is 720 ton in total, which is holding the PV modules. As the system was um, divided into eight zones, likewise the commissioning was also done in a staged. So the first zone was commissioned back in October 2022, while the last uh, zone was commissioned by Electricity and Water Authority back in February 2023. Since the commissioning of the various zones, and uh, in, in, in comparing the actual versus the simulated uh, readings to date, what we have seen, the system is providing, uh, generating more power by 8% uh, compared to the uh, estimated, which is a, a very, very exciting and also uh, uh, rewarding for, for us being involved in this project right from the beginning. We're the first university utilizing um, shaded car parks that are solar pa powered. Shows the university's uh, initiative and its strive for uh, sustainability and sustainable uh, energy. So environmental sustainability uh, is extremely important as a young Bahraini, um, seeing more and more green initiatives throughout the, the country, uh, starting with the university um, to reduce its carbon footprint. Me, along with my friends, always try to carpool whenever we have rotations in different hospitals. So I was very, very proud to see the, the university uh, taking a step forward to uh, reducing its carbon footprint. It's extremely sustainable and sizable. Given the size of the university, we've received communications as students that 60% of the electricity being utilized is going to be from the solar project, uh, which I'm uh, extremely proud of and extremely happy about, given the size and the amount of students that utilize our facilities on a day-to-day -day basis. very committed to the UN sustainability, uh, sustainable development goals and this plays a major part of that and also within the on a national basis the Bahrain 2030 vision has sustainable energy as, as, a, as a core part of it and it's our contribution that, that, that makes me most proud. So I think in conclusion from a business perspective the savings are fantastic. Undercover car parking is, is brilliant but actually the true winner here is sustainability um, and, and that's the biggest benefit of, of this solar farm project. We want to be the catalyst for change that drives a sustainable future.